I'm trying to show the how to get into Cengage uh, with the book voucher. The book voucher is actually something that we don't receive. It's not a physical object like a, a card or an, uh, some code in the email. It's um, so we log into uh, the bookstore bkstr.com forward slash Dine College Store. Um, sorry, my video is not so clear. The, um, the book voucher is already active. And it'll be there at the checkout. Um, I'm just showing how to do the book. Um, if you haven't gotten it, for those books that are already available uh, but we'll go ahead and uh, do the search that's how you look up your books for your courses Then we search for Cengage right there. You can do that from the very beginning if you've already gotten your books. And there's you know the search results, but we're interested in this one right here. We add to bag, make sure we, well, I chose the digital, uh, I guess it's digital. I guess that's the only option. Anyway, the, the item is uh, basically an email with a link and a code that you enter into Cengage.com, but I'm going to show you what it looks like. So this this little window appears. You go view back and check out. Here is another check out. Okay, so you I, I've got an account, but um, I'm going to skip this part. Uh, I'll sign in. I got my address already in there. I skipped it. So now I'm signed in. And I'm going to continue with the checking out so I want to show you if it, it, this would have been clearer I want to show if you're at the main campus uh, the address is first um, one circle drive Saley Arizona and it's sorry I don't got the address eight six five five six and with the the um, when you fill it out with either your account or when you're checking out you have your name on there and the package will have your name and you go to the post office and they might ask for your ID but you tell them uh, I have a I'm expecting a package in general pickup and they'll look through and you know find it if it's arrived if not give it some time I went ahead and did that myself I have to I have a, a cardboard box with a textbook in it so I actually went and did it so we go to proceed to payment method 
payment method. Okay, so this there's the financial aid scholarship checkbox. And I ask for your student ID. I don't know if I'm supposed to hide it, but I skipped the full number. I put in the whole number, and then this shows up next. And every computer I've logged into, that text is always messed up. You go to the I agree, and then you press confirm, and it'll you know show you a, a screen, and you'll receive an email. That initial email is just the receipt. Hours later, maybe two hours later, you'll get an email with a link and a code. If you press the code, it will just go, um, it'll set up a temporary thing, a trial version, but we'll go to Cengage.com and if you're not logged in, you'll see, it'll say sign in. I'm logged in already. I don't click. I didn't. I don't recommend clicking on the link. Just just log straight into here at Cengage.com and go up to that Enter Access Code course key. You copy the the code from the email that you will eventually get, and you put it in there, and it will show up as purchase course because before it was um, like trial period. So, yeah, I'll say Cengage Unlimited, like the product that we purchased. And right here, this is where you enter your code. And it's like caps, letters, and numbers. Uh, and, you, and you register, and a congratulations will pop up.